the greatest thing that helped me was to think of it not as a re structuring or a new creation of something, but actually how can I enhance what I already have? Um, it was really important to me that my students learn and understand not only the theoretical components, but also how are these components used in the real world. So we spend time on Tuesdays learning about the theory. Thursday we actually get the chance to practice. So for example, today's lab, we utilized wooden blocks. We give them the challenge and we talk about how did you perform in this? How did your team form? What was the conflict? What were the time pressures? And we do that with these types of materials because they're safe enough. People don't mind messing up with blocks. It would be a little bit more catastrophic if they had messed up on the job. Through playing a game, they understand how to negotiate. They understand how to position their argument as being the one that should be heard. And all of this is facilitated in a way that's really exciting because it's not just, um, here's this theory, here's this textbook, read about it and write a paper. It's, here's the theory, here's the action, let's do it together and see what comes of it. Uh, I, I love this class. I think it's very, like, you know, hands-on and it's interactive. It's never, there's never a dull moment in this class. Like, I really like it. All the labs are interactive, they're fun, and they help you learn. And it, it puts all the stuff that we learn about communication okay. and, you know, leadership and how to communicate with people. It puts all that into effect in the labs, and it's really good. Mm -hmm. yeah, not only with the labs, but um, you can actually apply everything you learn into this class with, like, whether it's yeah. with your professors, with your parents, with um, friends, friends mm -hmm. anything. Some of my other favorite sort of examples have to do with bringing in items that you wouldn't necessarily think would be geared towards group communication. These red beads are toxic, uh, mold spores and your team has to figure out how to get the red beads from the you know the not safe container into the safety container without entering this perimeter so you have to figure out how to work together what Liz is doing is using everyday objects to get students to work collaboratively um, to explore a concept or a, th a theory that they're going to be talking about in class really drawing from a constructivist sort of theory of education, uh, which is really exciting. It, constructivists believe that children and adults learn through experience, and often through experience with actual physical objects, right? So that if you are having experiences and then you're asked to reflect upon those experiences, that's where learning happens. Later on in the semester, the students are actually going to play an escape the room game. The challenge of an escape the room game is that they have to figure out how to work together to solve all these puzzles. And I love it because they're very surprised at how well they do and they talk about how their group communication uh, skills that we've only ever discussed in class actually manifest in ways that, that help them achieve tasks in, in the greater world.